My name is David Hahn, and this is the vehicle that will revolutionize urban transportation in the 1980s. For the past seven years, I have worked with a team of superb engineers with the objective of producing a lightweight, sturdy, compact, and affordable folding bicycle. The Han Model 3 not only satisfies CPSC standards, but most importantly, it can immediately be mass produced with off-the-shelf items and existing bicycle technology. Right now, I would like you to sit back and relax and enjoy a brief film illustrating the typical applications of this all-new vehicle. heard of fold-up things like fold-up umbrellas and fold-up chairs. Well, Jan today, Janine Yeoman found two men who have invented the fold-up bicycle. See the grown man on the bicycle? It's Dr. David Hahn, a world-renowned laser physicist. His brother, Henry Hahn, owns a computer business in Hayward. And this is their invention, a bicycle that folds up in about 10 seconds. When the oil crunch hit a few years back, the brothers felt what the world needed was a new bicycle. So they designed this one. It weighs only 24 pounds, so you can carry it on BART, on a train, a boat, a plane, or right into your home or office. Hopefully, this would uh, help the energy crisis. This is really what we started off to do, was to help the energy and transportation problem. Another thing is it's good exercise. Right now, the Hahn brothers are trying to get financing so they can manufacture the bike. The first ones for sale will be here in the Bay Area about a year from now for about $200. I tell you, we could have sold a few easily today. Got the feeling this grown man is riding a pretty good idea. In San Francisco, Janine Yeomans for Live on 4. There are about 3 million people living in this area. Here's a map with the population distribution in pink and the rapid transit system and their stations in black. So you have a thin pattern of people who have easy access to the system, but the majority still cannot make use of it because of the distance between their homes and the nearest stations, and they continue to drive to work. But with the Han Model 3, if you just assume that a two-mile ride radius is comfortable, as represented by the red, you see the impact that this will have. And if you include the local bus lines as well, virtually everyone would have access to the mass transit system. Big city life is full of stress, as we all know. Just getting around can be a traumatic experience. But this man doesn't seem worried. Well, why should he? He has an essential problem all figured out. First floor, everybody out. Wait a minute. Where did he get that bicycle? The vehicle, a little smaller than the usual bike, but considerably handier, is called the Han Folder. David Han, the intrepid driver, is also the co-inventor of the machine, along with his brother Henry. The idea of the Han Folder is commuter transportation. It weighs 24 pounds, and it can go wherever he goes. There have been other folding bicycles, but none that folded as small or were as sturdy when operating, according to the Han brothers. Inside a bark train, the bicycle in its carrying case, which incidentally is stored inside the bike, slips right under the passenger seat. I asked the brothers what it's got that other forms of transportation don't. It folds down to a size that no other bike can fold down to, and the speed that it folds down in, you know, that it's like it folds down in 10 seconds or less, okay? And it could fit right underneath the BART seat or bus seat. You could take it anywhere, ride it anywhere, and store it anywhere. See? So uh, there's just nothing like it. 
The brothers allowed me to test the bike. It's sturdy and solid. No impression that it might fold up when you don't want it to. The front wheel is more sensitive and needs more control than on the usual bicycle, but altogether it's a good ride. Though the wheels are small, the gearing compensates for that. This is a three-speed model. Later on, there may be a five-speed version. The Hahn brothers say the bike will sell for somewhere between $150 and $200, but as demand goes up, the price will drop. Oh, yes, we left David somewhere on BART. When he gets to his destination, where other passengers will have to wait for rides or look for taxis or have expensive automobiles waiting for them in parking lots, the owner of the Han folder turns this, flips that, locks this and pulls that, and he is on his way. Blissfully non-pollutive, impervious to oil crises, defiant of traffic jams, and plenty healthy in the legs. I'm Bob McKenzie for segment two. Okay. Hi, David. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. Sir. What, what have you invented? You watch. Okay. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? It's a real bicycle. But how do you balance with the wheels being so small? How can, can I try to ride it? Oh, yes. Sure. Give it a try. Okay. Have you invented other things before? Yes, I'm an inventor at, uh, at Hughes Research Lab. But this is something you did in your spare time. Yes. Ooh, this is right. <laughs> That's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, can we, is this marketable? I, I don't mean to do a commercial thing here, but... Oh, sure. Have you mass-produced them? No, I just finished inventing this, and uh, we are now just talking to... Uh, you just have this one in yes. the trunk of your car. What do we have for this bike here? What do you say? What do you We're going to talk to uh, uh, Dr. David Hahn, who is with the Hughes Research Laboratories as a staff physicist, and originally from China, right, Dr. Yes, Robots? That's right. Uh, from mainland China. And you left how long ago? Oh, uh, in, about in 51, and I uh, went to Hong Kong and came here to this country in 1960. And went to work right away for Hughes or what? No, I uh, went to school and finished uh, my uh, bachelor's degree at Berkeley and my PhD at USC. How long ago did you come up with this idea? Let's have a look at it here first. And tell me, what do you, what do you actually call this? This is uh, just the Han folding bike right now. I have, the, I have no other name for it. Uh, I started the idea in 1973, as you remember the uh, oil crisis. Oh, oh yeah, we remember that. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of discussion at that point in time of how to save energy. And I just thought that this would be the greatest way to, to, uh, to save energy. Now you can actually, this weighs what? How many pounds? About uh, 24 pounds. Weighs about 24 pounds, and it's made out of what? Aluminum and what? Uh, part aluminum, part steel. Part and I guess, steel. I guess eventually you'd like to make it all out of plastic, make it even lighter. Uh, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, are, the, are, are the city officials, say in Los Angeles, or the county officials, are they uh, taking to this idea pretty well? I think um, it is very uh, clear to anybody who uh, sees this bicycle that um, this is kind of the missing link in the mass transit schemes in any big city. How to get, you know, how to get the people from their homes to the station. That is right now the biggest problem. And I think a thing like this would solve that problem very, very uh, neatly. Well, in China, even today, the main mode of transportation is the bicycle among the common people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, very much. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me uh, give you a chance here to show us how this works. Is this bike as safe as any other bike? Yes, it is very, very structurally, um, uh, structurally very well designed. Uh, you, as you can see, I'll open up for you. Okay, do it. We'll see how this works here now. This is, uh, this is going to turn out to be a... Uh, Regular-sized bicycle, I imagine. Yes, it is. This is going to be the new mode of transportation here in the United States. 